it's Elise here and welcome back to my channel. Today I am part of a huge back to school organization collab which started over on the YouTube Mommy Meetup Facebook group. It was started by Megan from Organized Little Lady. Her link will be down below. And she wanted to talk about ways that you get organized for back to school. Now if you've been watching us for a little while you know that my kids have been back to school since August the 10th. So this is actually their second week of school. They um, start school pretty early around here. I did do a back to school tips video with Kristen from Southern Mom at the conference that I was at last weekend in Chicago. And I also did a, another back to school type video with Diana from Being Mommy with Style. But I decided for this video I'd do something a little different and I'd actually show you a space that I organized. So, in a minute here, I'm going to show you the state of my kid's desk area. So what we have in our house is we have a pretty big common area and the dining room has a long table in it. It used to be a playroom and what we decided was to put the kids desks in there. They used to have their desks in their room, but I was finding that it was too distracting for them to do their schoolwork in the room where they have their toys. And we did want to get rid of the playroom. They are at school full time now, so having my dining room back was a big plus. So to um, make it work, we went to Ikea and we bought two Billy shelves and we left the tops open and put doors down at the bottom. We put a shelf uh, connecting the two shelves and that just holds all of our board games and things like that. We have a big world map which um, if you've been watching my channel you know we are big travelers so we pin it everywhere we go. So far we've gotten a lot of the United States pinned off. Um, we will be traveling international when they're a little bit older. There are two desks, which are also from Ikea, and in between we have a little drawer system, which also came from Ikea. I'll have links to all of the products we use down below. I'm going to do a separate video about our after-school routine, so stay tuned for that one. It should be up soon here after all of the wonderful collab videos from the YouTube Mom Conference. So. That area over the summer and probably within the last month of school, last school year, became a very big mess. And um, I kind of just let it go and over the summer I tried not to worry about it. They were playing a lot of Play-Doh and sand and painting and crafting and just doing a lot of stuff over there. And I like to just let them have fun and everything. But once school came around, school time came around, I took about a week before school. Uh, we were on vacation right before that and then we came home and that week before school we got down and dirty and we organized a lot of different spaces in the house. But I'm gonna focus on this one today. So this is our homework area. This, this is where we do all of our homework. So without further ado, let's get into the footage of what it looked like before and the process of it. Hi guys. Good morning. So the kids have drawers on their desks and in between their desks that we kind of just let them keep whatever they want in there. It's kind of their territory. But every year before the new school year, I like to go through them because they accumulate a lot of stuff from either the summer or the year before. So that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to show you guys. I had them pull everything out of their drawers. So I'll show you guys what it looks like with everything out and then I'll show you kind of what we do and what the process is to go through the stuff and what it looks like when everything's back in and believe me by the end of the school year it'll be packed full of stuff again. So here are their desks. They took everything out of the drawers down the middle and this drawer. So here is Kaylee's pile and she has some on her chair and there's Junior's pile all on his desk. So we're going to sift through this and I think I'm going to do something a little different with the middle drawers just because they accumulate junk and then the kids don't even use them. Um, I have those baskets on the shelves over there and the one has like glue and craft stuff in it but I think I'm going to pull any glue um, 
stuff that they would use for school, like glue, scissors, stuff like that, and put them in these drawers. And also have the lined paper in these drawers. The bottom drawer here, Kayla, can you pull the bottom drawer out for me? The bottom drawer here is where we keep our, wow, you guys have that destroyed too. Well, we gotta organize that. It's construction paper, card stock, and computer printer paper down there. Um, but they do use lined paper for um, spelling and stuff, so I think I'll use one of these drawers to put their lined paper in, and hopefully they won't destroy that, like that construction paper. But we're gonna get started. The first thing we're gonna do is wipe out all of the drawers. point what I've had them do is I they have this is Kaylee's pile of notebooks coloring books folders and stuff she had in her drawer that we have to go through um, then that's all the paper from both of their desks and that's Joey's notebooks and stuff Joey's still working Kaylee's is just about done junior I hope you know that you have a mess on the floor that you need to clean up too um, so and then I pulled these two things this is like a roll with pages to color they never use this, so um, I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I feel like it would be great. Like, it would be a great thing for them to have, like, for when we travel and stuff. But at the same time, it falls apart so easily. I don't know. It might be not worth the hassle. So I might just put them in Ziploc bags and pass them on to some of our friends. Um, that might get better use because we have a gazillion coloring books. So right now, I had this in there, um, we pulled it out, I'm, these were sorted by drawer. Joey, can you stop sharpening for one second? Um, they were sorted by drawer, but um, they got mixed up, so I'm sorting everything out and trying to figure out what I'm going to do. We've got like copious amounts of pencils, uh, markers, colored pencils, these crayon sticks, Crayola crayon twistables pens and I'm just going through everything and then I'm giving the kids all the pencils we have and they are sharpening them because I think we're going to keep those in their desks. So as you can see that's just a little bit of everything that we did to get the area organized and ready for back to school. Now like I said we've been back to school since last Monday and today is August 20th so it's been 10 days since we've been back to school and this is working great so let me go ahead and show you what the organization looks like now so here's Kaylisa's desk and in her drawer all she has is her um, journal notebooks that she keeps her clipboard that if um, she doesn't finish her homework on time and we have to go to football or something she can bring with her. This pencil bag has all of her pencils sharpened. This one has some markers. And this one has her Melissa and Doug stamp markers. She does have some um, invisible ink glasses in here and the invisible ink is rolling around in here somewhere. Oops. And then she has this one that has some more markers. We have a surplus of markers, like I said. So she has her pouches in her drawer. And then what I did here in the middle is I sh we went through and we sharpened all of the colored pencils in the house. So we have colored pencils here in the front. We have our stapler in here. And then we also have all these um, Crayola twistables. We have, there's colored pencil ones and there's crayon ones in here. So this is for them both to use for any type of homework. I know one thing that they do do um, when they get spelling words is something called rainbow spelling, where they have to write the words in um, three different colors. So they have to use colored pencils for that. And this one right here, I got these little baskets at the Dollar Tree. We have calculators in here that they have. Um, these, they really just play with those. This has erasers and sharpeners in it, glue, and scissors. 
this one I have a bunch of extra notebooks so that they can pull um, lined paper out of for spelling words. And then this has all our paper, um, the construction paper. We're kind of low on colors. We have red, brown, and black. So I've got to go and buy new construction paper. This is our printer paper, card stock, some foamy paper in here, and also sticker paper. We've got some like holiday paper, things paper, some of these project folders, and then some more printer paper in there. And then here's Junior's desk. In his drawer, he has this, he has a few little notebooks as well, this race car designer thing and paper airplane notebook. He has his Melissa and Doug stamps, some markers, his clipboard in case he doesn't finish his homework and we have to go to dance or something, and all of his pencils. So on their desks, we kept it very simple, just their lamps. This is an eraser sharpener duo that they got at the book fair. They each, excuse me, picked a picture. Junior's side does have the sharpener only because our old printer we could put the sharpener on top but with this printer um, it has to be next to and that's the closest to the wire. Um, Kaylee says have a pony. She made this little bear thing at school last year. And she has a mechanical pencil and some princess markers that came with something she got in there. But that's their desks. Over here, I do need to go to Target and get new things. But this basket is filled to the brim with ribbon. I used to make hair bows, so that's why. Um, this has some extra crayons so we can do crafts with. Those are blank books printer ink, and my hot glue gun. Okay, and here we have pins and puffy paint and just stuff I use for when I craft. We've got these Avery Kids fabric labels too, and um, just an extra glue gun, stuff like that. That's my domain. And here we have the kids' old video games and cases. Um, some my address book, some extra like Valentine's card, greeting cards, thank you cards. Over here we have some extra envelopes, um, stamps, address labels, stuff like that. This is their Nintendo DS. They're their newer ones with the extra stylus pens. There's some in the back too, and all the games. Down here we keep Play-Doh, and I see now that Kaylee's is gonna have to clean this up. She was playing Play-Doh yesterday. And it looks like she put some of the tools away in there, but this should be just Play-Doh in there. And this is the kids craft stuff. So we have stickers, like various stickers from all different things. We have some craft sets that came from the Dollar Tree. Tattoos, those are, and I use a Ziploc bag to organize it, it works great. Um, googly eyes, these flowers, Kaylee's made a headband with that. There's chalk down in there. Um, pom-poms and then we have some extra sidewalk chalk regular chalk and fabric markers oh and this has like little tissue paper squares that they can use for crafts too and their big crayon set up here for when they want to color now in the cabinet we've got all of our play-doh stuff here so like i said kaylee's has to clean that out but um this is like play-doh accessories and sets that one has buttons in it um this is mostly painting stuff. We do have a little bit of Play-Doh carryover down here, um, but mostly painting stuff. And this really cool projector that my son got for his birthday. Um, down there also paints and little pieces of felt and a birdhouse that we need to paint. And their smocks. I hang their little paint tray up here. And then we'll walk over to this one. This one um, needs organized I just realized uh, the top is just books 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 it's all books these are our paperback books in these two bins we have a lot of books okay down here we have their coloring books this volcano which erupts it's really cool um, this is also some extra Crayola crayons we have a lot of crayons in the house those are pens 
our kinetic sand, our cash register, and like credit cards and stuff that they use with it. These are all puzzles, including this. This is a color your own puzzle that Junior got. I, I need to get him a little box for it. And then down there we have like all um, cards, like playing cards and uh, flash cards. And I'm just, this fell off here. This is a little Skylanders game Junior got. And then over here is some workbooks we have. And like this, that's a dry erase fill in the state name board. And there's a clock down there. It's just a bunch of learning stuff and card games and dominoes and stuff for them to play with. So that's that cabinet. A lot of stuff. Okay. So as you can see, that area holds a lot of stuff pertaining to not only homework, but also crafting and playtime. So what I did was I separated things off and I made sure that the kids helped me. They were hands on so they know where everything is. So it's never, well, mom, where did you put this? And that's probably one of my biggest tips when organizing a kid area is definitely get them involved. Even a two year old can get involved in learning to put their toys in a certain color bin or a certain bin that has a picture on it or something like that. And that's a process that I've always done with my kids from when they were very little. So our homework area works great. If they need to use colored pencils or crayons or markers or anything, they know where they are. Um, the sharpener is centrally located, scissors are centrally located, glue is centrally located. Uh, they have a whole pouch of sharpened pencils to start the year off right. Of course I know that by mid-year we're gonna go we're gonna need to sharpen pencils again, and that's okay. But I wanted to start off right, a nice, fresh, clean slate. So that's just one of the areas I've organized for back to school time, but I figured it was something that could be helpful and something that I really wanted to share with you. Now, I'm gonna have a lot of back to school videos coming up very soon. They're gonna be a little bit late, because I have so much great footage from the YouTube Mom Conference, but I hope that you guys stick around to see them and to not only learn from them and get tips for yourself, but also maybe give me feedback and give me tips because, you know, I've been doing this for a few years. My kids are in first and second grade and they did go to pre-K, but I could always learn and that's one thing that I'm always open to, tips and tricks to make it just a little bit easier for myself. And I know that everybody's home situation is not the same. Not everybody has the free space to have a whole elaborate desk area for your kids. But even if you just have a bin and that's where you keep crayons and markers and maybe lined paper and sharpened pencils and scissors and glue, it works perfectly for them to know that there's one place they can go to find this stuff. I know I've been to people's houses and I remember when I was younger too, having to search for scissors because you need scissors for homework and nobody can find the scissors. Well, problem solved. It's always important to have a de designated area for homework stuff because Homework is stressful on the kids. As much we, as we don't want to think so, it is because they just spent a whole day in a classroom working and then they're going to come home and they're going to get to work again and we don't want it to be a stressful thing. We want them to know where everything is and have everything laid out there so that they can get their homework done as quick as possible and go on to playing or going to their activities or anything like that. Like I said, this is a collab video and there is a lot of other ladies participating, so I'm going to have a whole list of links down in my more info bar below, so definitely go check out all their videos for some new for some tips on back to school and leave me some feedback down below if you have some tips that can make my stuff easier. How do you get organized for back to school? I'd love to know. I do a lot of different things around the house. This is just one area. And like I said, I'm going to have a lot of back to school videos coming up, some routines, some lunch packing tips, um, just like our command center, that's a big one too. Where do we put the important papers that mommy or daddy need to, need to sign and see? All of this stuff will be coming up soon on my channel, so if you want to see all that stuff, please make sure you hit the subscribe button down below. It would make me really happy, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!